Okay. Now, let me come to some familiar examples of Lie algebras. Are you all fine? I think many things are known to you in some pattern, I am just only fixing the notations. Okay. That way you will start not getting scared with the notations. When you see an S O N or an S O N comma M in any book, you will not get scared. Okay. Oh, I do not know this, you will not say. Okay. Yeah. So, take a two dimensional complex vector space. Till now, I was trying to look at only a real vector space. Let us go to a two dimensional complex vector space. Okay. Then you can have matrices which are linear operators operating on this two dimensional complex vector space. What should be the dimensions of those matrices? 2 cross 2 matrices, but the entries can be complex now. Okay. How many independent real entries are possible in a 2 cross 2 matrices? 8 elements right 2 n cross 2 n. So, you will have 8 2 n, 2 n squared elements. So, there will be 8 independent real elements possible. Okay. So, now you can try and look at what are the generators for such set of 2 cross 2 matrices with complex entries that Lie algebra is written as G L small g small l 2 for 2 cross 2 dimensional matrices acting on a 2 dimensional complex vector space. So, that complex vector space is put in here on the side as g l 2 c. Okay. So, I told you that whenever I am looking at Lie algebra I will use small letters. So, g l and 2 comma c. Just like you write basis states you can write 4 such basis states but you have to remember that you have to multiply with coefficients which are complex coefficients. Instead you can also write 8 basis states with similar thing multiplied with an i fact. Then there will be 8 basis states for the algebra which corresponds to 2 cross 2 matrices with complex entries. So, what do I mean by basis states? Any arbitrary transformation, you can write it as a linear combination of these basis states. This is what you have done at some point in quantum mechanics, but as of now I am trying to tell you that it is these 4 and again you can multiply with i factor and say that it is an 8 dimensional real vector space, a set of linear operators or 4 dimensional complex vector space. If you take it as 4 dimensional complex vector space you denote it by G L 2 comma C. Sub algebras of G L 2 C you can look at a subset over on top of this general 2 cross 2 matrices with complex entries you add some constraints traceless and it should be Hermitian. Okay. Somewhere it rings the bell you use this traceless and Hermitian poly matrices, but I am not doing that here I am just trying to put in why is traceless gets the letter S do you know. Remember your rotations, if I say SO 3 rotations and if you want to write this SO 3 rotation as exponential of i times something, you, know, you have to see what condition determinant equal to plus 1 imply on the trace of the matrix. 
So, if I say e to the power of i g, okay, if I say determinant of this, this is the group element g is the element of the Lie algebra. If I want this to be plus 1, this can be rewritten as okay, these are acting on arbitrary vector space, right. But you can always find that this is equivalent to writing it as so the generators which constitute the algebra if it is traceless the exponential of those generators which gives you the group element will be having determinant plus 1 that correct trace g equal to 0 implies determinant of e to the i g equal to plus 1 and this is the group element. Okay. Group element I will denote it by uh, here I will denote this group element by S L and if it is acting on N C and these g's are elements of small s l and c ok. That is the notation we follow Lie algebra elements are given by small letters and group elements are got by exponentiating the Lie algebra elements and they have to satisfy if it belongs to special this l for linear s for special g is for general, if it does not satisfy this then you will call it glns. Okay. So, all your s o 3 is a subgroup of o 3. Okay. Similarly, g l n c to start with the algebra will have a subalgebra which is s l n c, because G L and C can have determinant plus 1 or minus 1, right. S L and C has to have determinant plus 1, the S denotes determinant has to be plus 1. And arbitrary elements which I write here in the Lie algebra is traceless and Hermitian, ok. So, you will see how many independent elements you can write, you can show that because you are going to be on a complex space the coefficients will be complex there will be three independent elements a is one real z as two real but then you multiply with coefficients which are again complex which is real and imaginary in in principle it is a three dimensional complex vector space or it will be 6 dimensional real space just like what I said for GLNC. GLNC was a 4 dimensional complex vector space or 8 dimensional real vector space same thing for SLNC. If you constrain that the coefficients have to be real which is what you will do when you do exponential of I theta orthogonal groups have real entries right. Similarly, if you constrain that you want the coefficients to be real then it will again be again a subalgebra of S L 2 C you agree. So, S L 2 C itself is a subalgebra S L 2 C is a subalgebra of G L 2 C and then S u 2 is your familiar S u 2 is the real algebra which involves real entries. So, this is going to be a subalgebra of S l 2 c ok. So, set of real Hermitian traceless matrices forms a subalgebra and that subalgebra is sitting on a it, this is a tower each one is a subalgebra of ok. This is the broader one 
you have to have all the matrices with determinant non zero why non zero it should be invertible but you will have various subalgebras and exponentiating the generators of these lie algebras will give you the corresponding groups okay this su2 which you have been extensively using you call it as an angular momentum algebra is not very different from your orbital angular momentum algebra but this was introduced because the stern gerlach experiment showed that you either have a up state or a down state which is a two dimensional vector space correct and you needed the generators acting on a two dimensional vector space so, this is why you have the SU2 naturally occurring to understand the two states, two spin states seen in the Stern and Gerlach experiment. But as an algebra, you will see that there is no difference between SU2 spin angular momentum and SO3 orbital angular momentum algebra. You know this all of you know this ok. Which one? SL 2 C, SL 2 C involves entries which are coefficients have to be C as well ok. So, what you can say is that you will have your sigma x, sigma y, sigma z and you will also have an i sigma x, i sigma y, i sigma z. So, this will be your six dimensional, six dimensional real vector space. Yeah. So, but if you go here, it will only be one subset, not this. Okay. The basis states could have any coefficient, but then you have to also allow that the coefficients could be complex if you are looking at the group with complex entries and that will force you to basis state entries could have been complex to start with, but that is what happens in your poly matrix. On top of it you also want your coefficients to be complex real and imaginary that will multiply it by a two factor if you are in SL NC SL 2 C, but if you go to SU 2 it only allows three of not the other. Okay. In fact, here also I wrote the basis here. Basically, I am saying 1 0 0 0, which I write, I will also have a i 0 0 0. Okay. So, there will be 8 of them coming. I have not written the 8 of them, but you can. Write. So, that is why this will be a 4 dimensional complex vector space or 8 dimensional real vector. Now, to your familiar world of angular momentum, which is your belongs to a unitary group in quantum mechanics, all your inner products should remain preserved, that is why your time evolution is unitary, you know, all your transformations are all unitary, is what you learn, and you also know that such a unitary operator for the SU 2 algebra by SU 2 now you know that it is going to be the algebra involves Hermitian traceless matrices with determinant plus 1 and it should belong to real you know the entries have to be real the coefficient entries have to be real. You understand what I am saying? If I write an arbitrary element x which belongs to the Lie algebra S u 2 small s small u 2, it means that it should be summation over number of independent elements have to be this is real and then you have these poly matrices 
this is three dimensional real vector space. So, three generators are required independently you can do it for just like I did for the orthogonal group. You can define S u 2 as a group, what is the meaning of S u 2? It is 2 cross 2 matrices with u dagger u to be identity and S to denote determinant of u has to be plus 1. You could do it from the group point of view and find out how many independent elements are there, which will define for you number of parameters. Number of parameters will define for you the number of generators and those number of generators should be there when I write any element of your Lie algebra, which is also a vector space. So, what is this condition going to give you? Unitary means you can you can try and figure it out from this condition that to start with 2 cross 2 entries and determinant will make that to be traceless. So, just work this out and see how many independent elements are there. Okay. So, number of independent parameters I leave it you to check this you will see that it is only 3 you can work this out for S u 3 also. Okay, so, do that also. Now, I am writing group. So, if I want to see the element how will I write here? Once I see 3 parameters and 3 generators I will write element u this u exponential of i theta dot these are the bases which are the 3 generators. So, theta dot sigma clear. So, this will be your group element of S u 2 which will when it operates on a 2 dimensional vector space. A and B means linear combination. What does this mean? 1 0 is up spin, 0 1 is down spin, A B means A times up spin plus B times down spin. What is supposed to do? it should give you some new a prime and a b prime right. So, this is what is the transformation on a two dimensional vector space and this one will be the matrix. And you all know how to write this exponential sure you would have done it as an exercise in your assignment in quantum mechanics right. Poly matrices have nice properties. So, coming back to the slide exponential of S u 2 Lie algebra generators for example, the 3 poly matrices are good generators for traceless Hermitian matrices. You do find that the group elements which is exponential of i theta dot sigma can be rewritable as cos theta by 2 identity plus i n sigma sin theta by 2. How many of you have not done this? Anybody who has not done it except for one person whom can try it out later, but others you have all done this right. So, this is what is the group elements which can be rewritable in terms of sin theta and cos theta. Why am I doing this? 
is mainly because I want to show the group elements, group parameters. If you put theta to be 2 pi, what happens? If you put theta to be 2 pi, you get g of 2 pi in rotation when we did rotations, if you do a rotation by 2 pi, it is equivalent to not doing any rotations. But if you do a rotation by 2 pi in this two dimensional spin vector space, it gives you a negative sign, right. You get a negative sign. So, what does that mean? It means if you do a 4 pi rotation, you will get back to identity. This is not new, fermions are spin half particles, bosons are integer particles. When you exchange two fermions, the wave function can pick up a sign. When you exchange two bosons, the wave function does not pick up a sign. You all know this, this is what is nature's way of doing things and this is what happens. Okay. So, explicitly when you write, and now tell me what will be the group manifold for SU2. It is no longer a solid sphere of radius pi, it better be a solid sphere of radius 2 pi going from minus 2 pi to plus 2 pi and g of 4 pi is always identity, which means all the points on the boundary are all identified, not diametrically opposite. So, that is the parameter space for your SU2 group. So, let me stop here and uh